Hey guys, another beautiful day here in Southern California and today we want to show you how to install the door slide extension. So as you can see this awesome black van behind me, we have just installed our Baja Grocery Getter kit on this van. It's awesome, but we have not put bigger tires on it and we know that when we do, this van also has the slider door. And the biggest problem now is once we go to that bigger wheel, bigger tire, these doors can have a tendency to rub on the back of the tire here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you once this door opens up here, you'll see that once we take a look, a peek in here, that this door is really close to that tire. So once we go to a bigger tire, a lot of times your door will only open up about, you know, halfway right there. And of course, that's just not gonna work. We wanna give you that full opening of the door. So what we've done is we've taken this beautiful brand new door slider from Ford and we make the door slide extension piece. So you can see we've cut and modified and tweaked it a whole bunch. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how to install this on your van so that you can have your door open all the way. So let's get a list of the tools and everything that we're gonna need in order to do this. And um, I'm gonna try to walk you through it step by step. That way that you can install this yourself at home in your driveway wherever it may be so let's get busy all right so what we're about to do is we're going to go install the well tech designs door slide extension and here's all the tools that you're going to need in order to install that so starting off with just a couple of the simple things we're just doing a 10 millimeter so whether you want to have it on an impact or you're just going to have it on a ratchet whatever you want to do it's definitely easier if you're going to have it on a power tool same thing with this it's just a phillips screwdriver i'm going to use this in order to take the panels off of it and just to get some of the little miscellaneous things out of the way it's definitely going to be a lot faster um, to do that if you have a passenger van you're going to need a phillips screwdriver in order to take off the window mounts for it um, and then once we get into it itself uh, you're going to need a hole saw. I'm going to show you how to use the hole saw in order to get you a nice finished looking hole um, and not that you even see it because once you're done with it, the, either the plastic panel is going to cover it all back up. But we like to use the hole saw on the end of it. Um, once we go ahead and cut that hole, we're going to use our grinder in order to open up that hole in order to make it bigger to give the clearance for that new slider extension. Um, and then we're gonna show you how we're gonna use a file. A file is just to clean up our cut once we're all done. Um, it's always helpful to have a screwdriver around and you're gonna find that this will kind of help you once you go to line up the bolt in the new door slide extension piece. Um, that's the most trickiest thing about doing this is when you start putting it together, it's getting that 3 8 bolt to go th back through that, um, through the door slider where both of them meet up. And then for then, the last thing, two 916 wrenches in order to get them in there and tighten everything up and a hammer just in case all else fails this is it right there this this is to fix everything to it right there you probably really won't need this but it's always nice to have so there it is oh and i forgot this thing you're going to want a jack stand and not only are you going to want a jack stand but you're going to want a rag because you're going to once you have that bracket pulled off you're going to want to set your door on this and it's nice to have a nice just any kind of rag just something to give it something to sit on so it's just not metal on metal because when you're fitting it up when you're moving it you don't definitely don't want to be knocking paint off the bottom of it so we'll just take a rag we'll set it up on there and then we'll put the door on it and you'll see that as we go ahead and install all this how we kind of use all of these pieces and parts in order to install the weld tech designs door slide extension. So let's get busy and go install this. It's gonna be fun. 
Okay, so to get started, we're gonna take this super fancy Sharpie and we're gonna mark on the back of the door where it's currently, where this little bracket right here is currently going to be in the doorway so that we know when we cut this, we're gonna wanna cut it at the bottom of this bracket and then also at the top of it. So that's gonna be our initial line where we're gonna end up cutting part of our door out in order to get more clearance. So you also have this little plastic piece here. You can just go ahead, pop that off, remove that. So now you can see we have our mark. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside, start removing the door panel and all the pieces necessary in order to get to this bracket. So let's go inside. All right, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we have to remove this door panel. In order to remove the door panel, we're gonna take the six Phillips screws out of these. And then also normally I'll just take this door lock off to get this out of the way completely. And then we're gonna go ahead and just unscrew the window. Now you're gonna to wanna to be careful because now not only don't wanna lose the screws, even though we've already lost ours. See, just like that. So now that that is off, this top piece, now this is going to be, uh, you know what, I'd like to pull that off too. Then we have Brandon, he's just lost, he's no. just cruising. Alright, so now that that is off, this whole thing will feel like you're going to break it. So you can see that this thing came completely off. It's definitely a chore. And basically what's holding this on is clips on each one of these, it pinches on them. So that's what you're kind of pulling it off. So if you look on the back of the door, you'll see here all these clips that it really snugs into really tight. So just try to give it nice even pressure and slowly work it all the way off of those in order to get that to come out. Now once you get that to come out, you can see we've got two more screws right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pop these screws out. I'm gonna open up the door here again to get to that. I should scoot the seat forward more. Now, there we go, more room. So now this whole panel right here lifts up. So you can see that one comes off a lot easier. It's just gonna lift up out of the way and allow us to get into the back of the door. And now I'm gonna go ahead and pull this door closed. Just make sure that you're kinda gentle on it when you do. And then these are gonna be the bolts that we're gonna wanna get off. All right, so we're gonna take a 10 millimeter and we're gonna take these four bolts out next. These are gonna be the bolts that actually hold the door slider in place. So next, let's go outside and show you how to start taking these completely apart. So what I've done is I've completely unbolted the slider on the inside. So now I'm gonna open the door. And when I open the door, I wanna have a stand or something else that I can set the backside of the door on because now there's not gonna be anything holding it in this portion of the door so the door is going to essentially want to just fall or stay on the track but it's not going to be supported in the back so then what i'll do is i'll just grab the door by the back and i will open it up and that does not mm. i have to do it differently So I will definitely tell you, this is way easier if you can have two people. So normally I will take this and I will loosen up the, all three of the bolts and then leave one in, open up the door and take it off. This time I did it by myself. So what I did is I had that was still in the door. I opened the door and then kind of worked this around. So now this right here 
that will just pop out of there. So you can see now that's the old one. So now that I have this off, this mark right here, and I can actually take this and slide this door open more. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my marks and I'm gonna bring them in here and I'm gonna make a big cut in here in order to relieve it so that way the door slide will open all the way into here. So now is where we're gonna need a drill and a grinder and do some, do some cutting. So we've got the door slide out, we've got this pulled away from the van, and you can see we've put our original marks on here where we wanted to cut it. So now what we're gonna do is those marks are gonna get transferred around this edge. So you could use a straight edge or a square, whatever you want. And you can see that the notch that is gonna go in here, just trying to kind of outline it. So that's gonna kind of be the clearance that you're gonna need in order to have to clear the door slide. So what I'll do, Typically is I'll take a hole saw, I'm gonna cut a hole saw right here, and then once the hole saw is done, I'm gonna go in there and I can cut the rest of it out with a grinder. So let's go cutting. And now I got my trusty sidekick, Kate, in here to help me finish installing this. So let's get busy. Now what we'll do is we're gonna finish that and come all the way around on both sides. That'll give us our clearance for our new one. All right, here we go. So there you go, you can see now we've cut that up all the way out and gave us a lot of clearance. So now what we're gonna do is we will go ahead and get a file, we'll go ahead and clean that up, and then we can start fitting our new door slider. So now what I've done is I've taken the door slider, I've taken the bolt that goes in the center here completely out. So now what you wanna do is you're gonna take this part here and you're just gonna take it and slide it into the door. So you can see this is how it's gonna slide along there when it's all done. So the next thing we're gonna do is now that can rest right there. We're gonna take this, the second piece of the bracket and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it into here and then I will actually take one bolt and I'm going to start that new bolt in this Let's even take two and put these two in here. And now what I will do is I'll tighten this up. And not tight, but so it's still snug. So now what I'm gonna do is I have to get this piece, I'm gonna go ahead and slide, pull the door back over, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna slide it into it and get the bolt back into the door. Way easier said than done. And then what you're gonna have to try to do is you get the bolt. The bolt down here into there. Yeah. Oh. oh. Hold on. Okay. Try, let's try it and see if I can. All right, so as you can see, that is the most difficult part of this, is typically it takes two people to get this bolt back in there and get this lined up. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rest of the four bolts back in the door, and then we'll get the rest of this, try to get the door all aligned. So let's go ahead and do that next. So when you're getting these bolts lined up, you can see this is the striker plate, which is gonna go into the door. You wanna make sure that you're right there at that so that it's going to strike and lock all the way. So that's where it's nice, you're gonna have the adjustment in the bolts. You can move the door up and down and get it to where it's gonna be in the middle of that striker plate. So that way we can start aligning this door back. So now when you open the door, you can see that we have a lot more clearance from the wheel to the door, which is gonna, that's what's gonna help us. You can see the 
how this is just a little bit farther out. So now that we've got this back in, we've gotten it tightened back up, what we're gonna do is go ahead and align the door now. So now that we've done that, you can see the doors closing. I mean, I'm gonna say we got really, really lucky, and you can see that body line is, is right on. That doesn't normally happen on these. Um, and it's actually just maybe just a, just a, I mean, we're talking a smidge high. So what we'll do now is we can go inside, we can loosen up the bolts. We're just gonna just lower it just a little bit. That way, that body line, I mean, if we're gonna get really picky, you can see that body line is a little bit off. Let's see if we can get that to fit better. But right now, that door is opening, closing really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these holes, make them a little bit bigger. So this whole door is gonna slide forward just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that. So we got it all aligned in the, in the inside. So now you can see the door shuts really nice. Body line is really good. Smooth as butter. And we have a lot more room now in the back side of the door. When we go ahead and open this up all the way, you can see now from before to after the additional tire clearance that you have there. So now let's go ahead, jump back inside and put this thing back together. So the biggest thing when you're putting this door panel back in is just start at the bottom and start putting the clips in. You'll kind of feel them kind of go in and they get, they'll all just kind of pop back into place. And then now you can see this door's back on it. The skin's back on it really nice. And then what we'll do is you can see right here. So this is the thing. So right in here, you can see that this is going to hit the plastic. So we're going to also have to trim the plastic now. So what I'll do is I'll, it's already kind of made its own mark. I'm going to go ahead and pull this back off and then I'm just going to trim this plastic a little bit right here so that this door will be able to open up all the way. I'll go for you. And to finish it off, the cover piece, slide that back into its home. Voila! So there it is, guys. There's how you install the WeldTech Designs door slide extension for the Ford Econoline van. It's gonna give you more wheel, more clearance in the back to run those bigger wheels and tires, whether you go to the Ocotillo Cruiser Kit or the Baja Grocery Getter Kit. This is gonna help a ton. Uh, you can buy this product. This is available on our website, weldtechdesigns.com. You can go on there and get that. And as for this video, make sure you like it, please. You know, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe and ring that bell if you're not already subscribed to it because we have a lot more cool videos like this showing you how to install our products, other people's products that are gonna really help you build the most badass van ever so there it is thanks for watching we hope you like it and we'll see you on the next video later guys